yeah, like that did happen naturally because some of the boys would be like, oh, you're not faster than me. But, and then you'd have to race them to like, see if you actually were or to prove them wrong. That's no surprise, really. After all, every athlete's ultimate goal is to win at the Olympics and or world championships. Zoe Hobbs is not any different. So far this year, she's working very hard towards the attainment of her dream, competing at this year's Paris Olympics. But winning is not her sole purpose in every race. Having fun with sports has always been a top priority for the sprint star. The entire time she was growing up, she had always been very active. Even as a child, she played basketball, netball, and gymnastics. All the while she'd been dipping her toes in various things, it had been obvious that athletics has always been her strong suit. Talking about the Paris Olympics, Hobbs has high hopes, especially since... Needless to say, if or when she makes an appearance at the Paris 2024 Summer Games, she will be the first female sprinter to represent New Zealand in the Olympic 100 meter in nearly 50 years. Just so you know, the last New Zealand female sprinter to compete in an Olympic Games 100 meters was Sue Jowett in 1976 in Montreal. Fortunately for them, Zoe is proving to be a strong competitor in the sport and thus has a high chance of actually competing in Paris. In fact, Zoe recently became the first female sprinter from New Zealand to qualify for an Olympic Games 100 meter in nearly 50 years after she set a personal best to win her heat at the Continental Tour Challenger meet in Switzerland, where she ran 10.96 seconds in the heats at La Chaux de Fonds before winning the final in 11.13. With that, Hobbs has secured her spot on New Zealand's team and will proudly walk out alongside her fellow compatriots at the opening ceremony in Paris 2024. Many would agree that she is more than ready for it. In the past year alone, or because it was the year before the Olympics, the Kiwi athletic star broke her own personal and national record five times in the season in addition to becoming the first woman from Oceania to ever go under 11 seconds in the 100 meters. She achieved this feat with her impressive 10.96 second run at the Reza Sprint International Meet in Switzerland. This year, she's off to a great start. The Sprint Star opened 2024 with a win at the Potts Classic. At the Potts Classic in Hastings, Hobbs won the 100 meter to kick off a big year. She extended her outstanding record at the meet with a time of 11.39, running into a slight headwind in warm conditions. Making her blistering trademark start, Hobbs quickly bolted to the front and was unstoppable as she blasted to the top of the podium to claim her seventh 100 meter victory at the meet. She looked in full control in a strong field, including Australian Bree Masters, who finished second, and New Zealand 200-meter record holder Rosie Elliott, who came in third. My focus coming into today was to get those first races under my belt and to make it feel as smooth and relaxed as I could, Hobbs said. She further added, The goal today was to just run it smooth, open the season, and dust the cobwebs off, so I'm glad I got that under my belt now, and a big focus towards the rest of the season now. More than a week later, Zoe kicked off the indoor athletic season with a fourth-place 60-meter finish in Boston. She had to settle for fourth in her first race of the global indoor season, since she could not match the leading Americans in the 60-meter final at the Boston Grand Prix meet. The 26-year-old Auckland-based athlete made a slow start in the final, and though she picked up speed over the second half of the race, she paid the price by coming home fourth in 7.16 seconds. It was the same time she ran in winning her heat, 0 .03 seconds off her PB and national record. You should know that Hobbs made the detour out of the Kiwi summer to the U.S. to gather some indoors experience. Nevertheless, she has already qualified for the Paris Olympics later this year courtesy of the 10.96 seconds she ran in Europe last year. By mid-February, almost two weeks after her loss in Boston, she once again impressed at the Melbourne Continental Gold Meeting. In the most prestigious one-day meet in Oceania, Hobbs repelled the late-charging Tori Lewis to secure top spot in the 100 meter, clocking 11.34 to inflict defeat on the Australian sprint prodigy by a victory margin of 0.06. Much of the pre-race attention had been thrust on Lewis following her national record time of 11.10 last month in Canberra. But benefiting from a dazzling start and a blistering first 60 meters, Hobbs could not be denied. 
Hobbs said, It's so good to have this level of competition this close to home, especially with Tori, who broke the Aussie record a couple of weeks back. Although it's not the time I was after, I'm just happy to bank the win and definitely some positives to take away from tonight. I'm glad to have nailed down the first half of the race, especially as it's leading into the indoor season. Then, shortly before the 2024 World Athletics Indoor Championships in Glasgow, Hobbs raced a second in 7.19 seconds at the ISTAF Indoor in Berlin. In an Instagram post, she shared, Good to get the feelers over the 60-meter distance one last time ahead of the world indoors this weekend. At the actual event in Glasgow, she qualified for the women's 60-meter semifinals. She was second in her heat in a season's best time of 7.15 seconds, behind Belgian 21-year-old Ronnie Rosius, who ran a 7.12 personal best to take heat four. Hobbs automatically advanced to the semifinals as a top three finisher in her heat. She even posted a series of pictures after the heats. Shortly after, the New Zealand sprint star not only qualified for her first global final, but finished just 0.01 seconds off third place in the Showcase Women's 60-meter World Indoor Final in Glasgow a few days ago. It was considered to be one of the greatest performances of her career. Tonight was awesome. I executed the race and I was only 0.01 away from a medal. I was that close, Hobbs told Athletics New Zealand. She broke her own Oceania record set earlier in the day during her semifinal to grab fourth in 7.06, behind race winner St. Lucia's Julian Alfred, who ran the world's fastest time this season with 6.98, Poland's Ua Swoboda in second, and Italy's Zainab Dasso third. The biggest takeaway was I was able to back this up through the rounds and I got quicker and quicker, she shared later. What's truly remarkable is that this performance eclipsed her previous area record of 7.13 seconds set at Belgrade in 2022. After reaching the semifinals at Belgrade indoors and Oregon 2022 and Budapest 2023 outdoors over 100 meters, this was Hobbs' first major championship final. I'm surprisingly happy. Hobbs told NewsHub. Finishing fourth by 0.01 is bittersweet, but it's an area record, it's a massive PB, and I executed a really good race, so that was the goal coming over here, to use it as prep for Paris. In an Instagram post, Zoe reposted, Olympian and athletics commentator Sarah Cowley-Ross said, To finish fourth in a major championship final is hugely significant. The depth of sprinting globally in an Olympic year is phenomenal, and Zoe should be extremely proud of her performance. For Hobbs, the experience was bittersweet. She shared in an Instagram post, This close. Only 0.01 from making a world championship 100-meter final. Bittersweet but I couldn't be any more happy and proud of tonight's result. At the end of the day, will we see her in Paris? Well, hopefully, but that's the big question these days, right? Who will we see compete at this year's Olympics? On that note, let's see if this athlete has a chance to be there.